Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to the farm. Today we are going to be selling off some wheat and uh, seeing what kind of money we can get from it. What the world? Really? Bar start. There we go. Now stay on this time. Alright, so we're just getting loaded up here. And this we're going to be selling over at the uh, dairy farm again. Uh, at our placeable sell point, as you can see, I did fast forward some time. I think I went two days. And the price is now... It's at 1,070 actually. Uh, the last that I checked... It was 900 something, but uh, so it it has gone down just a little bit. It was at 1100 when we were selling our corn uh, in yesterday's video, but it hasn't gone down that terribly much. But we are going to go ahead and sell uh, at that sell point. And we're probably going to be able to sell everything before the price drops to where uh, it's lower than anything in town or across the river. So we will be able to uh, hopefully sell all of it before it drops below, let's say, $800 a ton, which it should. I don't think it would drop below $900 a ton but we'll see we do have about three three and a half loads or so of wheat because uh, it was like 77,000 something so uh, we might have about four loads I think we'll see it should be anywhere from three to five loads um, of wheat to sell So I have not yet figured out uh, for Sunday's video what uh, the changes are going to be for what we're buying. Um, I will get that figured out by hopefully tomorrow, uh, or well, by Sunday I'll have it figured out. Um, and then we'll be able to... Um, start buying things on Sunday and getting set up for uh, next next year's farming operation I just got to do some testing on Goldcrest uh, with some new stuff that I downloaded and figure out which things that I want to use and uh, if I want to use any of them and all of that fun stuff one thing on the uh, version 2.1, the reset point is now in this area, and it is fairly small actually. Uh, I'd kind of like to extend it to go from like about in here all the way down to those bushes. That'd be kind of nice, and you could reset a lot of stuff. But since we're not starting fresh on the map, you know, re you know, buying all brand new equipment and moving it to the farm we won't have to worry about that uh, we won't have to worry about resetting and having thing having a few things there at a time and then transporting them to the farm uh, I am undecided as to whether or not I want to keep running out of that farm or if I want to move over to that farm since we're gonna be farming a lot of the land around it but I think for now I don't know, I haven't decided yet. I may just leave things kind of the way they are, or else maybe I'll move over there. I haven't decided yet. Um, I'll figure that out um, on Sunday. You know, By the time I record Sunday's video, I'll have come up with something, because then all the equipment that we haul will haul all the way over to that farm there. 
or else maybe I'll just move everything over now or something like that you know at some point I don't know we'll figure something out because I mean once once we s get rid of all the stuff that I want to get rid of there really won't be a whole lot of stuff to move over to that farm uh, it's basically basically gonna be this tractor uh, the sprayer um, the PJ trailer the pickup fuel trailer and the Bobcat I think that's really gonna be about it so we'll just kinda see how it goes alright let's see what we get from this load that was twenty five thousand six hundred and fifty five twenty five six fifty five and our price is now 978 so it did actually drop it dropped about a hundred dollars or so so if it's dropping a hundred dollars each time it should maybe be in the 600s by the time we get done selling but I'm just gonna sell everything to this place I'm not traveling all the way to town we'll just sell everything here uh, even if the price does kind of tank a little below everything else. But yeah, because we're selling basically everything else. I mean, we're selling the 1206, we're selling the, uh, what is it, 4786 or something like that? I don't know, the 86 series. We're selling the combine and the headers. We're selling the drills, the corn planter. The plow, the cultivator, the gravity wagon. So we're selling everything. Well, and then we do have our augers to move too. So I mean, everything I should be able to move in one go. Like I won't have to, you know, I can hook, I can hook the little auger while we're selling this. So I could take the little auger and load it on the PJ. The sprayer can go on the PJ and the bobcat could go on the pj and then i can take the farm king auger over so the only thing i'd have to go back for would be the fuel tank <coughs> but i'm probably going to leave it there because since the spawn point is at that farm over there um you know if we move over to that farm now or whenever we move over to any other farm I'll probably just leave a pickup and maybe the fuel trailer or something but at least the pickup always at that farm there since that's where you load in at but I think I think for now we'll be okay to continue running out of the farm that we are I think the you know like once we these stupid email things once we like the next time that we upgrade where we upgrade to larger you know even larger equipment then maybe we'll move on over to that farm but for now we're okay where we're at I do also need to go in and edit the uh, Google Sheets document here after this video and add in all of this info for uh, the money made selling the crops and stuff and then get things set up for uh, the second year of farming because um, right now everything there is set up for the first season um, or first year and so now I just basically need to select everything that is currently there and move it down a ways and then like basically I'm gonna move it down to the bottom of the page pretty much and then you know just, or basically just copy it and move it all the way down and then just remove all of the unneeded info from that one and then add in all the info that I need to add and then I'll be uh, all set and then we'll be okay uh, a okay to uh, start filling it in again and then once I start on like the third season then I'll remove season one's info 
you know, if we make it that far, that is, um, you know, every time that we go to a neck, another season, you know, we'll always have one, uh, you know, the previous season, oops, I don't want to be going here, we'll always have the previous season's info there, I'm so used to selling the corn and turning in here now that, because I just got done selling the corn here a little bit ago. But, yeah, so I think we'll just keep farming out of this, this farm here. I mean, we have plenty of room for storage. We can even store things in the silage bunkers, uh, if needed. Because, I mean, not using them for silage at all. So, can store those in there. Still got. Uh, we should actually only have one more load, I think. I'm pretty sure it should only be one more load, because that was 20 or that was 33,000 there when I just looked at it. So we'll have to see once we get this next load uh, what we've got in the bin yet. So it should be. It should be another full load, I think. Let's see here. Uh, I don't have it written down. I don't want to. Well, screw it. We'll go look at it here. Uh, UMRV series info. So, yeah, basically, all I need to do is add in the new fields that we're doing, and I can't remove. I can't remove that. We don't need that. Okay, wheat and liters, 77,965. So 77,965 and our gravity wagon holds, of course it's not going to show it. 23,960, so then we'll divide that by 23,960. So yeah, we'll have one more full load and then a partial load. Not sure how full our partial load will be, but... Uh, let me look here. 23,960 times 3, that's 71,880. And we had, what, 77,965. So it'll be about 6,000 liters or so, roughly. So a couple more loads. We're definitely giving this uh, case a workout. Let's see, we still got 17 hours that we can put on this tractor before it needs maintenance or 49 days of course I think everything will go reset back to the 30 hours um, until maintenance is required once we switch over I would guess because it's spring that or that or it'll need it I'm not sure how that's gonna work we'll find out either they're gonna need it or they're not It'll either have zero, hour, zero hours or zero days until maintenance, or um, 30 hours and however many days until maintenance. We'll uh, almost have to find out once we uh, start playing on the new save game.
So I'm hoping that our money will transfer over. I've tried editing the money in the career save game XML file before and like back in 13 it always worked but in 15 and 17 I've never really gotten it to work but I guess if nothing else I can just sell all of the starting equipment and or well we won't have starting equipment but I can just take the um you know, I can figure out, you know, okay, how much money do we have left on this series after we bought all our stuff. I can take that amount and then subtract whatever amount the save game starts with. And then I can, uh, I have a money cheat tool where I can type in an amount of money that I want to add. And then I can just add that amount of money back in. Uh, so that way it puts me back where we are here. And then all should be fine and dandy. Price is nine seventy nine at farms. All right, so we'll see how much we get for this load. I guess maybe around 20,000 or so. Maybe a little less than that. Uh, 23,471. So, actually, a pretty reasonable amount yet. So, our price was 978. Wow. Dropped down to 887. About nine dollars shy of uh, hundred bucks. So about ninety-one dollars it dropped, roughly. definitely be much, much faster with a grain truck but we don't have a grain truck yet I don't want to buy it yet especially just for I mean, one more trip well I don't know well no because the the grain truck that I want to buy um, I don't have in my game yet because I'm I decided I don't want to get the uh, International Transtar 2 uh, I'm gonna get a Chevy C70 grain truck instead, and um, well, or maybe instead of getting the wagon, we could just get an international truck and a uh, Chevy truck. Hmm. <laughs> kind of uh, contemplating that now. Do I want to or do I not? Yeah. So the International Transstar 2 and we want it in black. And then normal because you can have it normal or have an oversized load sign on it. So, $56,200. And we're just going to reset that. Oops. So then we'll be able to just take the rest of it. Well, actually, how much more does that hold? Hold. 
23,000. So we'll see if we can um, we'll see if we can fit everything into that truck and if not then we'll hook this up to it and put whatever little bits left into this Yeah, so I think instead of buying the Brent gravity wagon, we'll just get the Chevy C70 truck and then we'll have two grain trucks that we can run. I think that's what we'll, what we'll do. Because um, I downloaded a C70 and I want to make some minor changes to it. I just want to change the dirt skin that it has and then I want to change the sounds to be the same sounds that um, I put on the C70 truck that I did in FS15. Um, I mean, it's the same truck, so, I mean, I had, did have thoughts about trying to figure out how to convert, and converting my grain truck fleet over, but, I don't know, maybe I still could, or, well, what I could do is I could just edit this one and figure out how to add more, uh, color selection things, and make it so that you can also choose the color on the grain box, and then choose like a few different colors uh, along with like maybe a few different colors for the truck cab itself okay so we are going to just drop this here pull the tractor off the road I don't know if the C70 has a hitch on it. That might be something I have to add if it doesn't. Alright, here we go. thousand liters that's all that's not what I wanted to do Oops. okay so we'll just spin this around so that way we can come back with the tractor and grab this got like a couple thousand liters is all in that gravity wagon there but I guess it's a little better than nothing it's better than having to make two more trips and then now we have one less thing that we have to buy so So tomorrow and Sunday's videos might be shorter than a half hour or they might be longer than a half hour. Um, it's just going to kind of depend on how long it takes to get everything sold tomorrow and then everything bought on Sunday and getting everything 
set up and put away in the farm uh, and ready to move over to the um, new save game or whatever. Yeah, I didn't stop very well there, did I? The world. I don't know why my steering wheel didn't want to turn all the way there. It's kind of weird. Or like my steering wheel would turn, but it wouldn't recognize it. I only recognized it a little ways. I'm sure that's not a good sign. I know I'm going way too fast around these curves, but I don't really care. I just want to get this grain sold and get it over with here. So we'll sell this and then um, and then we'll fill out the Google Sheets document to go with everything. Uh, that we've done all of our selling and stuff and then and then we'll be uh, a okay all right let's see what we get here Thing takes like forever to unload. It's almost there. Green beds showing now. All right, twenty-five one ninety-nine. Okay, and now we gotta sell this one thousand six hundred seventy-seven liters. That was $1,307. Alright. So now, we'll tab on over here to the desktop. So first, we need to calculate all of our amounts. So 25, 655, 23,471, 25,199 and 1307 so we made in total oops 75,632 dollars from our wheat and our total harvest income was okay so we got to add 63,798 and 58,529 our total harvest income was one hundred and ninety seven thousand nine hundred and fifty nine dollars one ninety seven nine fifty nine all right to Google Sheets we go so I can let's see that's processing so I can close that all right now All right, money made from crops. Let's put from selling crops. Wheat, corn, soybeans. Actually, let's move these three down. Uh, whoops. Whoa, I just wanted to move them down. Crop and amount. So our wheat was 75, oops, 
So now we need to select all of this. And copy it and move it. Um, we'll just move it down to about there. Perfect. Uh, not so much. We gotta move this down a little bit farther. There we go. Control C and then Control V. Cool. Second. Second season crop info. Cool beans. So we are all good there. Alrighty guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get things set up to start selling uh, equipment tomorrow. And um, I'm going to get the gravity wagon washed up, get the truck put away. And uh, get the case washed up and all that stuff. Get everything organized and ready to rock and roll. So that way tomorrow we can start selling our uh, selling our equipment. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Be sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. Be sure to check out down below in the description for my PC specs, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my social medias and some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thanks for watching you guys, and as always, we'll see you tomorrow.